Swivelly chair, swivelly chair, swivelly chair, swivelly chair, swivelly chair, swivelly chair. Welcome to Feral Friends. How are we, Ephraba? You're good. You just caught me. I was on my last cookie. <laughs> Your last cookie, but you've got another bag. Yeah, I, I demolished <laughs> the bag earlier today, and that was the last one, so I just threw the bag aside. <laughs> yeah, but it's still within our hands, arms, reach, I can, right? I can smell it. I can smell it whilst oh, the it's there. Goodness. I can't eat it with this microphone, because you'll just hear the... Like, you know how I get with like sounds and people eating, yeah, like yeah, want to yeah. kill them. It's so true. yeah, I, I'm not going to do that to you guys. Do you want to just, <laughs> do you want to just eat one now? No, I'm just going to lick it. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> you really did lick it, didn't you? I did. Okay. <laughs> Are you right? <laughs> no, I'm not surprised at all. Um, <laughs> oh, no. How, uh, uh, well, I'm going to start by talking about myself. Yes, go on. Um, how are you anyway? I'm What's good. I'm good. But I am, we've now officially, we're going to be locked down as of next week. Curfew is coming. No in. way. Yeah, the, the bill just went through Parliament. I feel like this is constantly happening. Like, I, I know, surprised. but it's just, oh, I mean, I know it needs to happen. And but just can this be finished now, please? My no. whole street's been sectioned off for some reason after the weekend, apparently. Because of you and your behaviour, no doubt. I haven't done anything. I haven't really left the house, to be honest. You don't need to, <laughs> you don't need to leave the house to commit crime. <laughs> um, can I also just say that I'm really happy because I went to the supermarket the other day. I went to Kaufland, the supermarket. That, Kaufland, Kaufland, yeah. Right? And they haven't had the big bags of Maltesers for such a long time. Since you oh, left. been living. Do you know right? what? Because they knew I left and they were like, she's I not was, here anymore. I've, I've been fuming. I, I was, I've been going back and it's always <laughs> in the same section next to the Dimes. Oh, and this did you time, get some of those as well, well? I went back the other day and the Maltesers were back. So I bought Maltesers and dimes because That's I didn't want, them to, be didn't yeah. want them to be lonely. They're friends. They're friends. <laughs> You're all going to go down in my belly together. They're in a cisgender, <laughs> normal, heterosexual relationship. Lovely. Yes, lovely, lovely. lovely. <laughs> um, yeah, so, but what's what's been going on with you? You've just been still Um. This. Yeah, so I... Uh, yeah, I went for a little jaunt. I was uh, with Nia on uh, Saturday. We went to go do some shopping for her in the designer stores. They were terribly friendly. Didn't have a Julia Roberts moment. Although I did see a lot a Julia, of shit. Oh, a G- I thought you were going to say an Oprah Winfrey moment. No, not an Oprah. <laughs> I would have kicked off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did forget myself. I think it was still tipsy. And I did use the C word in front of the shop assistant in the shop. I was like, oh. But go. yes, no, I'm so sure that, heard worse. that was nice. And then had a little lunch and then moseyed on back. And then we had a nice brunch on Sunday. So that was cool. Oh, well, I'm glad for you and all your fun activities that you're able to do. Yes. Yes, um, yes. Are you are you suffering with your allergies? Yes, I am literally. Well, you can see that. My, <laughs> well, they it look doesn't look much different. <laughs> it doesn't look much different than usual, but it's literally just like a line. So my eyes have shrunk and I've been sniffling and snotting everywhere, which is gross. I'm I've actually so got upsetting. a little little tissue here. But um, I'm dosed yeah. up to the nines with Claritin. <gasps> yeah, I forgot. I was out. I was supposed to go. Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. I was supposed to go and get um, some, but I keep on forgetting to do that. Well, so maybe I will. you should make that list top of your priorities. I'm sure there's some in the house somewhere, though. Does Dommy, Anyways. Ephibus flatmate, does Dommy have. Um, no, he doesn't. No. He doesn't have grey hair. He doesn't have allergies. Oh, and God, he's I Benjamin Buttoning. So, yeah, I he's fine. Uh, do you know who else is Benjamin Buttoning? Angela Bassett. Yes. She either has a picture of and Dorian Paul Rudd. Gray. Paul Rudd as well. I love him. Oh. I love him. I've loved him since <laughs> Clueless. I know. I've loved him since Clueless. Oh, he's amazing. Marry me. <laughs> Seriously. He's gonna, he's gonna realize that he's gay soon and then we're gonna get married. Okay. Yep. Sure. Yep. After I've I'm done with him. I don't care. But about that. Floppy also, take it. let's get to the point. Most importantly, so the results came in last night. Well, for the, the trial, He's making it sound like Eurovision. I know, I know the Eurovision <laughs> results came in um, last night. The verdict, I the think verdict, the word, rather. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so the verdict came in last night in Derek Chauvinist <laughs> pig trial. That's what, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, was just sort of 
Yeah, it I, was a weird one because I'm happy that he was um, found guilty on all charges. But the fact that it, we were thinking it might not be a possibility that he was up until they is read it insane. out. I, was, yeah, I, mean, I didn't know. I felt so anxious. I was yeah. I felt. I, I'm. I just feel like I'm. I'm. I don't know if happy is the right word. I am. No. I because think it's a was, good thing that George Floyd's family have some kind of peace, whatever. Not if peace, that's not some peace, sort of... But at least someone's being held accountable for what happened. Yeah, I think because what's going to happen with oh, wait, those wait, wait, other I think, two? I think that we need to stop calling it justice. It's because not. Because it's not justice. Justice would be that he's still alive. And mm. I think... Um, I think a lot of white people were like, oh, okay, that's done. Moving on now. Yeah, and then, no and then, more and fuss. Then, right, no more fuss. And then fucking... Through, like a minute that girl after, after yeah after the verdict came out the, Makia girl. Bryant she was called shot Makia Bryant say her fucking name yo mm. she was shot she called the police for help in Columbus Ohio this was because she, yeah. she thought she, she was being, being attacked, attacked by these bunch of girls and the policeman and, got out the car and shot her four times in the chest and apparently she didn't she was like they could see she was defending herself against yeah. all of these girls and they shot her and she was the one who called them for help yeah. and it's like they didn't they didn't query anything they didn't try to de-escalate it it's disgusting and um, you're right about how i feel with um oh now this is done so everyone can just get back to how back the to normal. things were and it's a case of what about the two other officers what about Brianna what about everyone else that's no. going on what about Dante all of these people need to be held accountable but they're and not going all... to be though that's the thing and well, this, this I'm hoping this... so well, I don't I'm I doubt not... it but... well look we this, this sentence is ha verdict is handed down Two minutes later, another black girl is killed. In the last week, they've killed like three, I think, black, young yeah. black people. Like this people is not of color. Going, people of color. So this, there was the young not, boy, was it this Adam? Is not Adam Toledo as well. Like yeah. this is not going to get better. The system is broken. The, in fact, right. the system isn't broken. The system is doing what and, it's meant to do. And apparently there was an incident where the police officers were shouting Blue lights really? matter. That was it. That was it last night. Was the <laughs> like, the oh my is, god. The thing is, it's not. It's not. I can't even laugh about this. Like, we need to abolish the police. And for people going, ooh, read what that means. Right? It doesn't mean like it's a fucking <laughs> purge. It means taking money. Well, defunding the police and abolishing the police are two different things. But at mm. the very least, we have to defund the police right. and put the money towards. If someone is having a mental crisis, why are the police turning up? The police right. should be there for like murder and violent crime or whatever, or solving yeah. a burglary when your cat gets kidnapped. That's what the police are there for. <laughs> yeah. Not to fucking police black bodies. I'm sick of it. I feel like this yeah. is, you know, going from that moment yesterday of like at least some kind of accountability and then scrolling on my timeline and two minutes later, they're showing you then another, that. like a dead black teenager. Like it's, fu no. It's, it's horrible. It's, it's, yeah, it's heartbreaking. I just, it really I, is. And I just feel like this yesterday with this Chauvin thing, it was like the system throwing you a bone going, there you go. Now shut, shut up and now go shut up and go, go home. And I like was that, literally, right? well, they knew if <clears throat> they'd hadn't, if he hadn't been found guilty, America would literally be in cinders right ground, now. Rightly and so. rightly so, rightly absolutely. So. I was like, burn it down, start yeah. fresh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Like, I just... But, um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, look, there's this bill, this Biden's bill of like, you know, re policing right. reform and yada, yada, yada. But like, let's see. To my, let's see. But to my mind, Very let's not see. Moving. You can't reform something that at its root was set up to fucking catch black people. Mm. That's what the police, that's how they came to me. Anyway, yeah. No, no, no. Just, absolutely right. Yeah. Like, Another thing that's been in the news. And also, you, you mentioned something about this earlier with the football. I the this... Super League. Explain to people who that don't know exactly what this dumb thing is. If you're I, into ba football. I barely know because basically all the like top clubs in Europe, like the Manchester ones United, run by Arsenal, billionaires, billionaires, the the clubs with money, they were going to set up this like alternative league of all the best clubs where there would be no promotion and no relegation which even to my non-football mind makes no fucking sense like if you're like, supporting a club that's shit but your dream is right that one day you can make it to the big leagues right but that takes this away so what's the point of it the money obviously is the point of it but yeah um, more money and then it's just just a way of getting more money. revenue and shit like i don't fucking like. what i'm curious about is why because obviously with football fans they they don't care i know my mother princess she your, loves your football. mom is the only football fan I will accept. Like yeah. I'm sorry, she's, I'm gonna go. I'm... She's actually brilliant. She makes it entertaining to watch. I just love yeah. that. Ah! 
yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm gonna but... I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant about football here just for one go second. On. Right? I hate football and everything that football stands for. Uh, no, gonna, you don't. Gonna, you like football players. That's not you. Are, you're preempting me. I was going to okay. get to that. I hate everything about football except for footballers. But I also feel they are far. You like to watch them run. I'd like to watch them run better <laughs> if they wore short shorts and Australian rugby football league thing, whatever it's called, yeah. with the sleeveless thing, right? But listen, football, right? Yeah. Football is just an excuse for cisgender heterosexual men to hug and cry in front of each other without feeling gay, right? And I understand that most people, most football fans are nice, cool people, right? Mm. But football brings out something it brings out the violent worst. and base and primal in human beings. You don't see any other fucking sport going around Where they hooliganing up the place. Football is racist, football is homophobic, football is corrupt, and and the worst offense of all, they <laughs> move on a right today, fucking hair, right? They move, <laughs> oh my God. They move East Enders out of the way for football. I don't care much care for that. Don't fuck with the either. scheduling, yo. I, it's, it's so annoying. Sorry. Well, you know what? I agree with you with that, with football, because I remember when I used to work in um, just by Chelsea, um, Fulham Broadway station. Yeah. And um, so obviously Chelsea football ground was just around the corner. And when there was Boy. a match on, you would see people coming in and it was men that you would see in normal day-to-day life, whether they're in suit or doing their jobs, whatever it was, acting normally suddenly taking off their tops, um, just walking around chanting and just getting in people's faces. It's like, no one else cares flesh. about the match. No one, like, wants, to see no one wants to see your loose titties. No, no one, <laughs> literally, no one no. cares about the game. No Take one wants Stella to see and bought the fuck off. Like I'm not, it was just I, like, uh, why though? And it's like, the players can't hear you. They don't like you. <laughs> okay. No, they don't like you. That's why they live in a gated community to keep plebs like you away from them. <laughs> But you know don't what else? Get me is, wrong. You know, I like, like the sport of football. Oh, I don't. It's too long. It's boring. No, it's not. I used to play as a kid. I was never picked for the football team. I was always picked last. And when I was <laughs> picked, I can't think why. Maybe because I stood in the middle of the pitch. Because you ran away twirling. from the ball. No, uh uh-uh. uh. I just was like twirling and singing Kylie. That's why. Fair enough. Um, and the other <laughs> thing that's pissed me off about this is the fact that the, the entire country has mm. mobilized to save football, but you're going to let Boris do his fucking like corruption right in your face. That's the thing that shocked I, me the most because it was like, this is unjust, it's just for the rich. And it's like, your whole government in the UK has been based doing this for the last I couple just, of years. And you've literally had hundreds of thousands of people die. And now but, what? I'm just disgusted by the whole thing. But <laughs> I guess it does show, it shows the importance of people power because what, within 24 hours, because of the Shut outrage of the fans, this thing is dead in the water now. They've said that it's just- Is it, about... is it truly dead in the yeah, water? Yeah, they put it on the back burner. No, 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 We're no, gonna no. put a pin in it. No, all the UK <laughs> clubs p- pulled out yesterday. And Ooh. then today, the- oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sorry. Then, but then today, <laughs> The um the Super League master, whatever he's called, said, look, this shit can't work. Without the UK teams, it's not, they can't do it. Good. Um, so yeah. good riddance to fucking football super league and bollocks. Like just fuck off. unless it Gross. was a team of eleven Freddie Lungbergs, then I would watch it. I remember him, he was fun. Do you remember when I stole the thing, the timeout thing? Oh my god, you board? were obsessed with him. What was that him. other one from Newcastle? Um Alan Shearer. Alan Shearer, you loved him too. I loved him. I used to really love Dennis Bergkamp as well. Yeah, I wouldn't say no. He was and Cherry on Re. Oh, oh my God, sweet Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Um, I just see. I just like to watch them standing in small clothing. For what's the years. one? What's that one called? Who was who was the manager? Um, as I didn't. Oh, what's his name? He was the manager for Real Madrid or something. I saw him here. In, um, it was awful because I was I, <laughs> I was with my ex and we were in um, we were in a restaurant and he was there and everyone was going up taking pictures like oh my god he used to be an amazing player then he became a manager and then so my ex was like take a picture and I was like yeah sure. <laughs> I did, I did, but it was like I wasn't focused because because like, you didn't care, and that's okay. Because <laughs> why like, should you COVID. care about? No, but that's kind of mean because he that was he was very excited about it. I was and like, well, at least you got to hold. <laughs> 
I'm just saying, right, this is enough stupid talk about football. Okay, let's move enough, on enough, enough. to um, our... Teach the goddamn children! Teach. We're going to teach the children! Teach, teach them, um, John. This week, we are talking... I need to get my notes, because um, I was, oh, I've Lord. learned about this. Get we comfortable, get a about, pillow. Um, her name was Queen Nzinga, right? This no. woman... Well, yeah, that's what her name was. Her name was Queen Zinga. She was the queen of Ndongo, which is modern day Angola. You were going to say Mbongo and Bongo. They drink it. I was not going to say that. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just amused by your pronunciation. It's lovely. I don't know if the N is silent, so I'm just kind of hedging my bets. Like, Are you going to either... do a little click at the end as well? It's either <laughs> I'm going to go into my full quota. It's either Dongo or Ndongo, and it's either Zinga okay. or Nzinga. I couldn't find any audio pronunciation, so I'm going to yeah. Um, so yeah, it. so she, so Queen and Zinga, which wasn't born queen, she was born princess, I guess. Uh, she mm. was born in 1583 in the kingdom of Ndongo, which is modern day Angola. Okay. She was born with the umbilical cord wrapped around her neck. Which, yeah, that's not good. Well, <laughs> but in in the culture of that country, it meant that she would grow to become a wise and a proud woman, and. The omens were right, basically. Okay, um, so well, I've got a widow's peak, and they said that means I'm going to kill all my husbands. <laughs> I mean, I can 100% Although believe that. Although it's receding that. now. <laughs> I can Luckily, believe. I don't have one, so it's fine. It's okay. Hmm. But can, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so she was born, she was born with the umbilical cord wrapped around her neck, which is a sign of becoming wise and proud. Mm. Um, she came to the throne in 1626 after her brother's death. Uh, and she reigned for 37 years, which is like a really That's long quite a long reign. In a in a like a really turbulent, tumultuous time that she lived through. Uh, most of her reign was focused on maintaining Ondongo's uh, independent from the Portuguese because the Portuguese at that time were focusing their attentions on Southwest Africa, which is where Angola is because they were trying to get ahead of the British and the French, right? So they were trying to like take her country away from her. So she was mm. like, no, I'm not having it. So she used a combination of like- Not having oh. it. She was not fucking having it, man. <laughs> so she used like, she, she went to war with the Portuguese. She mm. formed alliances with other European countries such as the Dutch in order to like keep her-, her Maintain. Mm. She even converted to Christianity because- yeah, Apparently because she wanted to, but everyone was like, it was just for like diplomatic leverage. So she was a really like Seriously. wily, clever operator. Basically. I mean, no one's going to do that intentionally. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, most- a kind of incredible, I think, is that she made her kingdom into a safe haven for runaway slaves escaping the Portuguese, I guess, further north. Okay. Um, and the the story that I think is the best story about her is, is this, and this apparently was verified. There are many eyewitnesses there who saw this. Mm. Um, after I was Portugal, there. Yeah, you you. Did it <laughs> it's possible. Years, <laughs> it is possible. <laughs> um, after the Portuguese were like chucking it, being stupid, and making incursions into her country, she agreed to like have negotiations with them. And mm. she rocks up to the negotiations and the Portuguese ambassador is sitting on like a throne and they had laid mats on the floor for her to sit down on, which in that so time rude. was right. So disrespectful because that's where servants sit. So she was like, no, clicked her fingers. One of her servants got down on all fours and she used the it's servant like, as a stool. Now that's, <laughs> now that's the scene. That's the kind of power She's that like, you I call want. that a throne? Right? This is a throne. Like I'm tired. <laughs> Oh my God. But you know what that reminded me of when we were speaking about it before, because recently there was that incident where there was a female head of state representative. Oh, no, it was, with... it was Ursula von der Leyen. She's yeah. the head of the EU. And um, they didn't provide her with a chair. And I was thinking yeah. she should have done that, should have followed. Well, no, suit. they provided her with the, with the chair, but it was off camera. It off was the side. Erdogan in Turkey and the. Uh, the, some Ugh. EU guy, uh, yeah, gross. Um, but also, what I like about these stories is the fact that because obviously she's brilliant, um, leader from New Zealand. What is wrong with my mind today? I don't know. Yeah, you know Jacinda, who I'm talking about, Jacinda. Jacinda. Jacinda, Jacinda Ardern. Yeah. So everyone's like these new female leaders. It's all new, and for many, many years, it's been happening in African and yeah. Latin American countries where they've had female leaders who have done incredible jobs and led an example that maybe this is the way forward. What women in charge? Don't be stupid. Oh, anyway. they get so emotional. No, oh, no, right? There wasn't a period. <laughs> Um, so basically, she was a Don. Um, she died in 1663 at the age of 80. 
Um, so that was a really so, long life for that time. And she's yeah. basically, she was one of the figures that inspired the Angolan independence movement to win their independence from Portugal in the 20th century. And there's like statues of her all over Angola. She's very well known in Angola. And now you, Feral, what are we calling the people that are, are we calling them Feralinos, Feralitos? No. Um... Yeah, I need to think about that one. <laughs> and now give me time, you, give me time. dear listeners, dear, uh, dear, listeners. dear viewers, now you, you know about <laughs> Queen Zinga. Um, so go and Google her. There's lots of information on the internet about her. Some of mm -hmm. it untrue. A lot of it were like, there was, they tried to smear her greatly, obviously. Smear her. They smear her because she was standing up to the caucasity. So obviously, um, of course that didn't they go did. too well. But she was really cool. And mm -hmm. um, we salute you. Right Another fantastic power. woman. In I know, power. Right. Amazing. I know, I know, I know. Love All it. Right. So um, now we've learned something. Let's move on to our Speaking main Speaking of powerful, incredible women, that mm. reminds me oh, <laughs> of my let's... family. Oh, okay. Yeah. That, was a, that, was... that was a nice little segue right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Well, because there were a lot of them. <laughs> this in week my we're talking family. about family. Yeah, let's always we remember. That. I know I wanted to somehow put that in the chip, but we can't license it. Yeah, no, we're talking about family. Go. Okay. <laughs> no, well, as I said before, so my immediate family, um, we are, so there's four sisters, family. one brother, and then there's obviously the extensions from their offspring. I'm sorry, but when you third. list siblings like that, I just hear two girls, one cup. <laughs> what is <laughs> wrong said, with you? Four sisters, one brother, and I was like, anyway. <laughs> That's just my mind. Continue. That story. could also be a story. Yeah, there's money to be made there. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> so nasty. And obviously the matriarch herself, Princess, incredible. I feel but like with... she should be called Queenie. If she's no, a, you know absolutely I mean? not. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, it's um we were going to talk about family and their influence on us, and not just our immediate or our blood family our extended families that we've created because obviously living in different countries and even in London we have like extended families within that so people that we hold dear and think about and sort of our connections with them. Do you think your family is like normal? No not at all and that's why no, I love them. I know. Me you too. know us we're all a little <laughs> bit strange. I know ways. but I have to ask. <laughs> I know. We're all a little bit strange we're all quite feral but brilliant yeah, in our own ways. Um, I love them I wouldn't change them for the world even though they know how to wind me up. That's the but thing with family. Know, only family can make you lose. Yeah your that's the thing like, they know exactly uh, how to like push your buttons they, they can bring out the best yeah. and the worst but I'm lucky enough with my family that they're not a nightmare in that sense like there are times when princess can be a little bit harsh it's like hasn't seen you for a while she'll be like oh you look a bit special <laughs> and it's like yeah, well she's just being honest it was the same yeah well what have you done with your hair it's like oh yeah okay and my sisters as well why, have, like, why have you done that that's what my yeah so it's <laughs> like why don't you put on makeup or brush your hair or <laughs> things like this and it's like yeah well you have a point and they're like I just mean, let me do it for you that's the benefits because then they will kind of do it for you as well which is kind of nice oh I see um, we're getting a little look into your psyche here that you just want people to do everything for you not at all but things that I'm not very good at I'd rather someone who's good at it do it but it's a case of like having sisters and growing up and then getting a brother as well that's some it's been wonderful because for you it's been a different experience and only child smaller family unit um so for me, it's be, always been people in the house, very loud, lots of things going on, also strong personality. So we're kind of being forced to, if you didn't stand for yourself, mm. you would just get lost in the background. Um, but it was a comfortable enough space that everyone could do their own little weird thing. And there was room for everyone to sort of stand up yeah. in that sense. Well, I think so. Although I do think I am the favorite, so. My might you're be slightly just, biased. You're gonna just say that, like when you know that your other family members are watching. Um, they will agree with you, actually. <laughs> they will agree with you. I will get a recording from Princess and she will tell I you. Wanna hear, I wanna I wanna see receipts. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. I'm, do you know what? I mean I'm gonna, I don't I'm have, gonna WhatsApp I, her now and say <laughs> All right, go on. I can say I can say wholeheartedly that I am my mother's favorite because there is only me. 
<laughs> That's golden <sad>. child. Maybe <laughs> more, not golden child, pyrite child. Um, <laughs> fool's gold child. Um, yeah, my family is is small. Uh, we're, very, we're from very different families. Like I'm an only child, um, which when I was younger, I did not care at all. I was like, good, more presents for me, more attention. Fine. I was a little I, jealous I ne- about that. I never, I never <laughs> missed. I never felt like, oh, I didn't have anyone to play with. I had friends. I was like, it was fine. Uh, now I'm older. I went through a period until very recently of saying like, I wish I had siblings, but then my friends here who actually had siblings gave me like an, an a taste of like, they're like, you know, it's really annoying when you're younger, your siblings like poke you and kick you and no. annoy you and go like, not touching, not touching, not no, touching. No, we didn't really have that. Our thing was, especially with girls growing up, it was a case of if you get something nice, how they would take it, use it and ruin it <laughs> or just lose it. I'm sure that they would shit. say the same about you. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was I'm very sure respectful. They would say I was very respectful. I learned my lesson. I did that shit once and I didn't do it again. Was it a case, of, ch- was it a case of chat shit get banged? <laughs> Rip Please. top, get banged. Oh my God, there's been so many stories of my poor mom having to deal with like four girls. I don't know how she did it. less around like... the same age, running around, clothes, like doors being kicked, <laughs> screaming But madness. this is the thing though, that that's one thing at home when you can cut loose, but I know that black, I know you weren't behaving like that when you went outside. No, because this is the thing. My mum also is a bit of an anomaly. So we all had the fear instilled in us. Uh, even with Af- with most African parents, you just wouldn't act the fool in public or just with because you just don't general, do it. Like you wouldn't Asian, do it. African, West Indian, it's no go. But with my mother, because she was sort of like known within the community, so it was you felt like you had eyes on us. I don't know if this was a trick or something, but literally everywhere you go, that people random people would come up and be like, "Oh, your princess's daughter." Yeah. So you felt like you were being constantly watched, so you couldn't do that. And I also, would, that would annoy me. Yeah, and I've, it was a, well. Look, we had our fun. We got away with a lot of things, so it didn't stop us. It just made us a bit more savvy. I, think. I mean, my my friend. I remember a lot of like many of my Indian friends have said. Of like, because especially in, in, in many Indian cultures, there's such a huge extended yeah. family. It's like you can't misbehave because, like, you might see your cousin, <laughs> or like you might see someone that knows your mom or your auntie. This, that, da, da, da. I'm like, it's like yeah. the Stasi watching you. I'm glad that, like, I just well, no, that was fine, yeah. and but it wasn't so bad. But it was a case of it was instilled in us with the discipline, sort of like respect your elders, don't don't act like an idiot because yeah. there were repercussions. Like I remember. <laughs> I remember obviously so went to a normal comprehensive then went to sort of private school secondary school and it was a case of I remember being at friends houses and when they would call their parents now I say princess but even now I still say mummy yeah I, I sound too. like a twat too no, but no, I don't I, care. You know what? I always I, I made a conscious decision at one point I have to stop mommy. saying mummy because I felt embarrassed but I would I'm not I wish I hadn't I should I'm not embarrassed I still it's say mommy. It. I'll be like mommy can I do this yeah. but it's a case of um I remember they would call their parents by the first name and also sometimes they'd I didn't swear in front of my mom until I was about 19 or was, and, that, and then it was just shit <laughs> <laughs> then it was just shit and like you know obviously things have gone way downhill since then but it was a case of there was this element of disrespect where it was like called by the first name sometimes just be like oh she's such a bitch and she's in earshot and she didn't come reeling out of the kitchen or wherever she was <laughs> to like backhand her across the room I was just like wow that's something. This is, this is how the Because <laughs> you I mean, just I, wouldn't dare had, because the fear of God was instilled in you. I had you wouldn't a, do it. I had a different experience in that, like there were I was I was scared of my dad and I was scared of my granddad. Mm. But I my mom is not like a disciplinarian. Mm. And like mm-hmm. I just remember one time, the one time when I'm like, this is how I die, that my granddad he was a jazz musician and he built his whole sound system by himself from scratch. And he had all the equalizer things like set oh, up yeah. the little, the, you know, the sound. John, the, no. Right, and I must have been about, <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I must have been about eight or oh nine. And what? I went in his room and I set them all to zero. <laughs> Such a little shit. Why did I do that? Right. And then, it's and not neat. It's it, not order. I don't you know like... what. Probably, probably. Miles that did. sounds like what you were thinking about. So I, like, set, I want it all equal. I set the things to zero and then walked off. And then I was like, 
come, John. And they was like, what have you done? And I was like, oh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> so long. And that was making him madder and madder and madder. And that's the only, and then, then I got a big, oh like, my gra- like my dad and my granddad would give me licks. Yeah. My mom, very rarely. Um, yeah. I don't understand that. Like, but the, the parenting styles are obviously very different between, yeah. like, between black and white families. I think because black people understand that your kids can't well, misbehave in public. Because and yeah, because the, you don't you don't have that freedom to act the fool. No. And also, but where, for example, my sister, my two older sisters, they're they're strict with their kids, but they they wouldn't whip them or beat them or anything I mean, like that. Whip. <laughs> <laughs> Literally <laughs> whip them or anything. No, no, no. But they wouldn't like beat them no. or smack them or hit. Them. I mean, I they, I, I, they I, use their words. I do. I do think that it is better to aim to not hit your children yeah no because, no no because uh but i and i do and i do think it is a bit weird when people are like i turned out all right but it's like <laughs> i mean and it's not like i got like beat and i wasn't locked in a cupboard no. but like when i did that my granddad like spanked me and and that's the thing when there was it wasn't on a regular basis but when it did happen it was enough for you to know not to do it again right? to the point where you would just get a look from my mom yeah, yeah, yeah. and you would just stop acting like yeah. an idiot just no and it's that, not I, happening left alone and it was because I remember I remember being on a bus in London and everyone it wasn't just me everyone was mortified we were sat on this bus and there was this woman sat there and she had the push chair in front of her and a little girl she must have been about three years old or something yeah and she was sat in the pushchair in front of her and she was kicking her mum's leg, kicking, kicking, kicking. And she's like, please don't kick mummy because it makes mummy sad. And I was just like, are you mad? Are you actually mad? And oh then God, and everyone was her. just, everyone was just sort of like, wow. okay then. And so <laughs> oh. the kids start screaming and kicking and leaning forward. And she's just like staring at her being like, and she's like, please don't do that. Please don't do that. And then eventually she literally slapped her mum across the face because her mum leant forward and she slapped a little red handprint so that hurt her as well as her mum a little red handprint oh, on her face Lord. everyone on the bus was like <laughs> like took Shop an intake take a of breath, breath. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was just and then she was like you know that makes mummy sad don't do that and it was just like do you know what you deserve it but you're on your own with that one that's madness. I... Absolute madness. I, I will not stand for that. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't... I, I'm a... <laughs> what do you do? With... I would... Thing is, I'd throw it in the bin. I would have thrown it out the window. <laughs> I would have thrown a it in the bin. A kid would have flown through Did the you window. Be like, you think you're so smart? Take your ass home then. <laughs> See you next Tuesday. <laughs> That's I'm just... just I mean, I've heard that story before, but it's still every time I'm like... It really? was the little red handprint though that got me. So she hurt herself hitting her mum that hard. And I was just like, that's nuts. God. Um, <laughs> my family, I think it's very um, non-conformist in the sense no. of like, this is the thing that, this is one of the things that annoys me the most about my family. It's the only thing that really irritates me about my family is our Christmas tradition. Oh my God, I knew you were going to bring that. <laughs> what? You're so angry about it. Because the Seriously, thing is like, you no, didn't no, realise no. it's just not that bad. No, but the thing <laughs> is, it's called Christmas lunch, right? Everybody knows that you have lunch and then whatever, you're supposed to watch the Queen's speech. No one does, but no you're one supposed to be, I know, but the rhythm of the day is supposed to be that like you'll finish eating But you can four. snack during the day and no, you have a late breakfast. First. First of all, Jesus wants you to have lunch, right? <laughs> Secondly, so my family, there has never been a Christmas. And I never used to, when I was a kid, it was fine because you don't, you're just a kid. But as I've gotten older, I'm like, all of my friends are finishing, they're having fun. And also, uh, like, but we sit down to eat dinner at like not before eight o'clock. So I'm, once it was like 11. I think you came over to us. <laughs> yeah, like two like, in the out. morning. Like, <laughs> I so annoyed. I, I that you know like some like I'm glad that we don't have many like traditions in my family because I find mm. that's. I, I was feel trying like, to think of our traditions actually. We that's have tradition. Our only tradition was on Christmas Day that we'd have smoked salmon and champagne because we're bougie. Yeah, um, no, I liked our traditions because we'd do right? the leg of lamb, the turkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then my mum would have the African food, the jollof rice on the like, side. Like food traditions, I'm happy with. Yeah, it was but really I don't good. have like it's weird. Like I don't know. We don't do like you know that people that do like a family Christmas card and stuff 
Yeah, we never did that. Oh, you know what we used to do when we were little kids? My Because my mum had this thing. It was partly because she thought it was cute, but partly to keep track of us. So she dressed us all in the same, whether it's this, uh, the outfit was the same colour or variants of the outfit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. in different colours. White and frilly and really cute. Guys. Yeah, no, some yeah. of them were some of them were wicked outfits. But I in every like picture them, that you some see of, of all the girls of Esper's sisters wearing these dresses, all three of the other sisters look demure. And F was going, <laughs> she's giving you some variation of Look, struck by lightning in every picture. Like, <laughs> I call it stroke face. I don't have angles. I don't know how to take a good picture. Look, I've made my piece with it. We need Sorry. to get, we need to share some of these pictures with everybody. Oh my so God, please see. don't. But, um, so virginal and pure but we and used white. to go every, every Christmas and in Selfridges, you remember on the top floor, it used to be the toy department. Of course. And they used to turn it into a massive grotto where you'd yeah, walk yeah, yeah. through and there were loads of things to see. And then afterwards, at the end, you'd sit on Santa's lap. I and, never did that and, and I never then wanted take to. Take a photo, all of us. There's one picture of us, and we're all in like this kind of military air fatigues kind of thing. It's okay. it's 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 a lot better it's than it look. sounds right now. It's a really strong look. And we all look super cute. But I looked at Santa in the picture, he's terrifying. He's got red eyes. Wait, terrifying <laughs> or terrified? He's terrifying. Okay. He's got red eyes and he looks like he's given up on life. And I was like, that's not Santa. You do, <laughs> just not sorry Santa. to break the question, mark, but you know none of them actually are Santa, right? Well, I never believed in that anyways, because my mum would always just take us round and just be like, oh, what was it you liked? And I recognised her handwriting from on the box. Look at you, fucking young Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't a problem. I didn't give a shit. Don't want some creepy man in my house. I'd rather, like, my mum got it. That was awesome. You're weird. <laughs> you're like the only child that didn't want Santa. Yeah, yeah because I still got excitement. everything I wanted. You never had that excitement of, like, Santa! Like an elf when he's like, Santa! You know, no, I saw my nephews um, when we did the fake snow thing with the boots and, yeah, the, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. the flower and everything. And the morning, and then he literally did that. Santa! Exactly. Sort of running around. That was funny, but for me, I don't feel like I missed out on anything. I got my gifts. You did That's miss the out. most important thing. You did miss out. I just can't. Um, <laughs> I know, you did it before. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where it's are we? It's my allergies. Um, families have changed a lot over yeah. the centuries. We've gone from very like mother and father and Jack and Jill mm-hmm. to now like mom and mom, dad and dad. Aunt. I mean, but to be fair, in honesty, human beings have always had different types of families. There's always been like it takes a yeah. village. There's always been extended families. There's always Absolutely. been kids looked after by their grandparents or their aunties and uncles or cousins or whatever. It's just yeah. that. Oh. I what just turned my headphone off. Sorry, Hold don't on. do that. Um, but no, I there think with um, with the with families now. So as I mentioned before, we were talking about our chosen families, which I think are a huge part for a lot. Sorry, of Sorry, my now. headphone just had a wait. I got it's just there. We go. My, okay, uh, my Bluetooth came on. Do you have to? Oh wow. <laughs> okay. No, as I was saying, so with um. A lot of people now, they have chosen families because a lot of people are moving out of their areas, whether it's another country or to another area no. in, in their actual country. And so you end up creating and forming these bonds with people. So I know here I have certain people. I will name them. Isabella, Nia, you know who Isabella, you are. Isabella, shout out. Isabella. I know she was so upset she didn't have a shout out. Isabella um, is, Yes, um, no, no, no. There's a lot of people here that I've, I've been with and known for a very long time. Miggles. <laughs> I would like to know bra size and penis size. Uh, luckily, I don't know. Well, I do know Miguel's, but I don't know the others. Thank okay. God. So, um, but no, I think when you, when you live abroad, like your your friends that you make do become your family. Definitely. Yeah, not that, not absolutely. That I, also, I also feel like our friends at home, I think of them as our family, as, as my Absolutely. family. Absolutely. I miss them a lot. Yeah. I really do. Um, I think They're family, amazing. <laughs> I think family is what you make it. Like, I, and- I think that you, especially when you live abroad, the bonds that you form with people happen quicker maybe than if you just kind of are living in the same country mm. um, and are more you rely on people because they they are your family when and you, know. you cement the ones that you have back home more yeah. so well you either the ones cement that you really them, or they you either fall cement apart. them or they fall apart and that is yeah. the test of ultimately like a family member I guess absolutely That's true my test. 
Yeah, no, 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 it's very true. And uh, yeah, no, we were very lucky to have a lot of wonderful people. Yeah, but like, um, I mean, obviously it's because we're fabulous and amazing. I know, people. right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it is, um, I feel sorry for people that have kind of like real housewives of Beverly Hills f- friendships, you know, where it's yeah. not family. Like, you know, you see what that posts says about me. them. I know, you know, but I feel sorry for people that don't have that because it, it's really mm. it's as it's strong sad. as as a as a blood bond I think like but you know what's also interesting I think it's the family the family unit is changing because a lot of people young people who are having kids and um you know they're not necessarily near their families for mm. example Lichi so yeah. she hasn't got her family there in Brazil and you guys have been there with her supporting her with the yeah with yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's and that's amazing, and you all get so much from it as well, and it's it's really nice to see. So the yeah. family unit is evolving in many ways. Completely, I mean, like, and we're now, but I mean, at least in our little corner of the world, in terms of like LGBT, like rainbow families, um, mm. <clears throat> we are legally now, you know, have the same rights. I think, uh, definitely in the UK. Um, mm. And, you know, I, I mean, that's good. Like, ultimately, if people don't want gay parents to adopt children, then stop having unwanted children. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that, it's this a very is what, simple solution. This is what brings me to the thing, to breed or not to breed. Because e, to breed or not to breed, that is, that the, is question. the question. Indeed. Because it's a case of, there are a lot of people out there, I know this is going to sound really bad, they shouldn't be having kids. No. And they're if having If you need kids, a license to drive, you should have a license to have a child. I'm sorry. But at the end of the day, sometimes it can bring the best out of people. Sometimes it will bring out the worst. But there are a lot of people who are having kids so that they shouldn't. And kids in the world then. I know. Or kids that are with their families and it's and an absolute and shit show. And traumatised, yeah. And this is the thing. It's a case of there are many different reasons whether or not to have kids or to do it or not to do it. But it's a case of when people are having them, it's like these people are having children and there's no regulations on it. And then there are people who are willing to open their home and you put them through, like adopting is not easy. No, it's fine. The amount of crap yeah, yeah, you yeah. have to go through to actually get that sorted, it's, it's insane. So it's like, well... I, for me personally, I would, I, I'm of the mindset that I'm not going to have kids. If I was to have a, have a child, I'd probably adopt. Um, I, don't want, I don't want one. I, I don't want one. I want to be able to be completely selfish in no. my life. I but want, this is my thing. I want to I, travel. I, I want I'm white with sofas. You. I want my money to be my own. I, just, I don't I just, want white sofas because I can't keep them clean. I have white sofas. <laughs> I literally um, can't. I just can't do I, it. I feel this is very controversial, but I'm going to say it. I want to be a part time, not. I want to be right. I want to be a funkel. Yeah. Like a fun, like, right. That's, I, the, that's the one. Funkel. Yes, you, you exactly. Can be a, fa- a fanty. A fanny. Fanty. A fanty. Um, <laughs> you could be like <laughs> Rihanna's. Part of the tribe. Like, you're really dr- like spitting and dribbling a lot. You're <laughs> 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 like. <"Nee." laughs> <laughs> just call me out, yeah, white yeah. idiot. <laughs> I know. I noticed like, myself, and I was. Just I don't understand. Like, what what is wrong have you been to the me? dentist? Have you I had like yes. some kind of anesthesia? Maybe I need to stop drinking. Um, wait, no. Okay, <laughs> I. Oh, I'm. Tre- this is dangerous. Oh. I, and I'm not judging anybody. I'm really not judging anybody because I my love, sphincter is closed. I love my friend. I love my friend's kids with all my heart. I don't love other children. Just putting it out there. What are you gonna? But say? I think there's something inherently selfish in our current world and situation in having your own biological kids. Let me tell you why. I agree with right? you because in I I think first of all if, well, no. if, if yes. having a child and I'm not saying like I understand it's the most basic primal biological urge people want to have kids I get it right mm-hmm. but I think that if if having a child should be about giving a child like a loving nurturing home where you support them that should be for any child right not just your own and I also think right now given the fact that us here in the in developed countries thief countries mm-hmm. we 
are the problem in terms of the planet's degradation, right? And and children are one of the wor- are one of the worst things for carbon footprint. Also, why the hell do you want to bring a child into this world? Well, this is the thing. So we are not. We right. don't have a lot of time left. Yeah, I know. Like, I saw that David Attenborough thing, and I was literally like, that just sealed the deal. Yeah. Definitely not doing it. Twenty fifty, shit's going down. It's I'm going out. to like. <laughs> I just, so I, it was a I, case yeah. of. No, but with that, okay, I can understand one or two kids. That's absolutely fine. People who are having five or six, I'm like, are you no. insane? That's incredibly selfish. No, and look, I get it at the end of the day, it happens, that's fine. And I'm rather, some of the, like our friends who have had kids, I'd rather they put those people into the world and risk it with oh, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, um, yeah. And then, then just let it run and mock with because God I knows feel, what else is being produced. I feel like most of, I feel like our friends, this sounds like a very like privileged conversation, but I feel like it's our true friends, that. but it's true. <laughs> our friends are, are going to educate their kids and what's right and wrong, how to treat other people, how to look after the planet. But mm. even that, just by having them, with they're contributing to the problem. Do you know what I mean? My, well, my whole thing was, I was, I just thought, Obviously, your instinct as a parent is to want to protect to and run to away. nurture. And to <laughs> <laughs> literally, to hide. It's to leave. Don't them. make a sound. <laughs> Close the door. Turn the lights off. <laughs> it doesn't want to be alone. Seriously. <laughs> uh, this is mommy's stuff. <laughs> But no. I just I just think as as a parent, you want to protect, look after and provide them with the best yeah. opportunities and options. And unfortunately, because of what we be the world that we've got at the moment and the way things are going, I just think realistically, who knows, a miracle could happen I hope so. I and really something do. I hope could so. it could get better. And that's great. But it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Like literally, 2050 or 2060, there's going to be water wars and all that. Did you see the Attenborough? um, No, I can't bring myself to watch stuff like this. Watch it. No, no, no. I I haven't watched Sea Spiracy, all of that. I'm not. Oh, no, no, no. That's a different kettle of fish. No pun intended. But uh, (laughs) why did you net in? You're um, um, but, but it's a case of that that was actually really interesting just to see and it, it was mm. you know informed and obviously not biased in any way um I just want I just want planet. to I just want to protect Sir David Attenborough so much I want to wrap him up and put him somewhere so that he never nothing bad I, I can't say protect- the, the, the word because he's old I just want to like don't we put need, it out need, there in the universe. We need him so what is badly. Wrong with you? We need him so fucking badly. <laughs> and Did I you just... see when he met Greta? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. <laughs> Um, but no, I don't want kids. I'm happy to be, like I said, the funkle. I don't do well with bodily fluids that I didn't ask for. And um, I'd actually had a rule with my sisters. There was like limited amounts of times where I changed yeah. a nappy. And I remember with Amma changing Darwin's nappy. Yes, you. And um, basically his, it was so disgusting. And you know how I am with smells. Yeah. And I was dry heaving to the point where she was just like, just let me do it. Don't leave it, let me do it. But it's so nasty. It's, I guess that's the love of a parent. That I, I know, just don't right. get it's I just, absolute filth, though. I just I also I I enjoy sleep too much to have a child. Oh, I feel like that's the other reason why I just don't think I would be good at it because I know for a fact I'd I'm sleep not through their screens yeah. or I'd close the door. <laughs> I literally just close the door and be like, that's not, your business. Not now. I carried you for nine months. I'm bloody tired. You, we'll talk about this in the morning when you've got you know better what I attitude. Mean? And, 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 the, and the not they being it, I just, yeah, I, it's not, it's oh not God. for me. It's not for me. But <laughs> I genuinely, I'm loving seeing our friends' kids grow up because I feel yeah. like they're all weirdos it's, as well. It's amazing as like, well how fast they're growing well. yeah, up know, though. It's, it's scary. It's really it's scary. But it's cool, and I feel like, oh, they just keep me young. Do you know when I can like talk to them and be like, yeah, I'm cool, fun, Uncle John. And, and they're, they're probably like, all like, he's really weird and annoying. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But in mum my says head, we like, have to talk Come to on, him. Come on, kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mum God. said if we talk to him, she'll give us a tenner. <laughs> um, or probably it's probably fifty quid. That's what kids yeah, do now. Yeah, no. All these um, kids nowadays. Um, so, what do you? I have quite strong feelings on this next thing. When when do you think? Do you, or, or do you think that there is ever a time when you can be like cut out family members? 
Absolutely. Like toxic family members. No, if someone is to- detrimental to your health and to the rest of your family and to your life and the negative influence, and it's get rid. And you've tried to like because obviously with family you will give the extra mile and yeah, and you make a lot of allowances and yeah, 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 absolutely because that's the thing it's family. Yeah. But there comes a certain point where it's just like this is not working yeah. and I cannot. And it depends on the circumstance because, um, I don't know, um, if if it was just someone who was just very negative or very verbally abusive, then that could be a thing. But it's a case of if someone was an addict, some people are like, oh, you know, just kind of, oh, no, like, I feel like these are different. Cut them off, I no, like I feel like a... these are different circumstances, yeah. you know, the way it's like. These are different I feel like everybody has a, has a limit, it. right? And once you there is a limit, limit I don't think that is, you, I don't think that you it's are like with anyone beholden to go beyond that just because somebody has a shared no, DNA. Just because you. just because you are either a parent or a sibling or whatever doesn't mean that I have to put up with your shit. If you're not bringing Absolutely anything not. positive into the room or onto the table, then and it's just take 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 from one side and it's negative, it's out. It's yeah. like there has to, well, it could not be a total cutoff. It would just be, there's a definite line drawn and a, a distance. Well, I that. mean, like um, Mariah Carey calls her siblings, her ex-brother and her ex-sister and her ex-mother. Okay. Because they've, they've heard, I mean, I was reading her autobiography, The Meaning of Mariah Carey. Everyone read it. In of course it is. Um, and she is from a, her childhood was fully toxic, fully traumatic. Jesus. And she kept on trying but to it's help this family uh, right but I fucking hate that don't be like that it's Christmas <laughs> it's but, like, you know, like, oh, don't say David, that David, <laughs> David, what's going on with my hair um I wasn't gonna say anything but uh thanks you should have um yeah and so she you know through, 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 <laughs> through therapy she has realized that like these people they may have these titles of mother and brother and da, 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 but ultimately they are they don't display the her. actions. They don't right. They don't fulfill the roles. I was also reading earlier about a, this uh, woman. She's half Chinese, half British, <clears throat> and her mum was from Hong Kong. And she said that her mum had always been incredibly abusive as a child. She'd called her stupid, called her fat, and the mum had said that this is just Asian parenting. That all Asian parents are strict with their kids. And then obviously, as she grew up, she was like, mm, "No, that's not true." She mm. saw her other Asian friends, and their parents went like that. And <clears throat> she said it led her to kind of shutting the door on her Chinese culture because she didn't want anything she associated That's with that sad. Woman, right? Which is really sad. And now she's finally in her adulthood come to the conclusion that yes, yeah, she has to cut her mum off. And it's not a case but of- not the culture. Dis- distancing herself. She has to actually be like, no, I can't hold space for this person in my life because this person is damaging. So she still continues to be a dick? So that she's cut the mum off, but she's 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 keeping in touch with her culture. And going back yeah, no, no, no. But I meant the mum still continued with this behavior. Yeah, Even in, in yeah, 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 and really manipulative, and you know, and I think that, but again, and it's like it's family, it's family. It's like no, just because you family shouldn't behave like that. Family yeah. is supposed to support you and lift you up, and yes, family can be fucking annoying, but that you know, it's yeah. family. Like, but if 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 a fa- if your fa- if there's family members or family, the whole as a whole is like damaging to you, you don't owe them anything. I don't think. Mm. Yeah. My. That's the way I see it. Yeah, yeah I'm not um, too sure. <laughs> I mean, I just feel very fortunate. I got really lucky with my family for the most part. I felt that I was very lucky with my family. Like, um, everyone has their flaws and whatnot, but I feel like I was I was dealt a very good hand yeah. in all yeah, of yeah. them. Mother, father, kids, yeah. um, extended family, all of that. It's well, like I had, I mean, nice. I'm, my dad was a cunt, but the rest of my family. <laughs> yeah, made up for mine, it. mine had a few errors, but like, you know. Um, but my, you know, my mom, my uncle, my granny and granddad all made They all made up for it. That's the thing. I, like my immediate, immediate family, I'm just sort of like, they're brilliant. Yeah. Very proud of them. Round of applause for family. Yeah. Yeah, you're all right. Give me my top. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 if I was, I should have worn something from each of my sisters in this. Be like, she's wearing. <laughs> Brought it out from years. Yeah, before. I'm glad I never had to do all my clothes on my own. If I ripped it, it was oh me that ripped God. it. No one else to blame. Like, <clears throat> no, 
Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. Felt, I just felt really bad for Amma when Abba would get into her stuff because Amma worked in fashion, so she kept giving beautiful one-off pieces, Amma's amazing the oldest, shit. Oldest and the eldest, eldest and Abba's brother. the youngest, so you can imagine she's around 14, 15, running around with these like vintage, beautiful purses and tops and shit, and then just losing it or breaking it and then putting it back. <laughs> Is Abba, is Abba gonna have a rebuttal to this? Because I'm she sure her version of events is somewhat different. <laughs> it, I said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying out of this. I just remember the one time being in your house and I don't remember who was fighting, but I was just like sitting in the living room, like curled in the ball, like really scared. Like, and I just remember it was like a hamster. So it just some, something came flying through the living room door at great speed. And I was just no, like, I don't like this. <laughs> Literally, what is happening? I've never, I've never, I've never yeah. seen really like sibling fights. Yeah. And I feel like sibling but, fights but the are some of thing the is, most violent. You can, but that's the thing. It's like it MMA. It wouldn't, it wouldn't happen too often, but when it did, and then after it's like, do you want to eat something? <laughs> Do you think it's, I mean, it's different because you're all girls. And that's why, and that's the thing, that's why when you sort of go out into the world and anyone tries anything with you, you're just sort of like, don't test squad. me. <laughs> no, but you're oh, like, what? don't test me. I've literally been through it. I can take any of you. I've got it's battle fine. scars. <laughs> but I mean, I guess it's different as well because you're four girls. So it's different mm. dynamics between a boy and a girl or two, or, you know, or, yeah. or two boys or all boys or whatever. Like, mm. It was know. more screaming matches as opposed to... <laughs> fisticuffs I feel yeah, like less, with boys less... it would be more that yeah and that would piss me off because things would get broken and then they would be sleeping outside in a sleeping bag in the garden don't, don't <laughs> fucking have your scraps outside don't come anywhere near my Fabergé eggs all right or there's gonna be trouble to pay. um oh on a completely different note I just had mm -hmm. a thought the other day that if I was a character in literature I would be Mr McGregor from Peter Rabbit Mr. McGregor? You know the grumpy old guy? It's like, don't come into my garden and eat my radishes. Oh my God. I will kill you. But I don't know, I was on, I was on the toilet and that thought came to me. <laughs> just what like happened Sharon. to you? What happened I just to you? like Mr. McGregor also because you never... You, he was misunderstood. He was huh? misunderstood. They, listen, at the end of the day, those rabbits came into his garden and stole his prized radishes without... Yeah, do you know what? He cooked them all up. They never told you that in the story. Oh, I love <laughs> Rabbit the stew. Rabbit stew. Um, all right, well, that's enough about families now. Family. Family. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you know what it's time for? Oh, is it time for a feral fact? Feral fact. Oh, what have you got? What have you got? Um, okay, so I'm just being, I'm just being base. I'm just being gut, the gutter. It's about condoms. What a surprise. We're talking about condoms. Did you, I didn't know this. Did Your you know? Your face is a condom. <laughs> <laughs> I put my face in a condom before. Have you? Did when you, you do it the... <laughs> Yeah, 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 of course. Who hasn't? Come on, you haven't lived. I technically um, haven't done that. Well, okay, well. Probably. Haven't lived. That's what a shame been? for you. Um, <laughs> the oldest condoms, get, how funny is this, right? So people were like digging on some archaeological dig at this place called Dudley Castle in a cesspit. Where, where, where? Dudley Castle, I'm assuming it's in Dudley. <laughs> Yeah, I don't Dudley. think that's where the oldest condoms came but from. But no, the oldest condoms ever found were found in Dudley Castle and they date back to the 1640s. Condoms were made before then, there's evidence of it. But the oldest condoms were found in, the, they were from the 1640s and get this, they were made from animal and fish intestines. Yes, do you know you can still get them made from goat's intestines? Don't like lamb skin, this. that's when you Yeah, really that's it. But, do you think that that's why men say that women have smelly fannies? Because the, it's probably the man's fault. Wait, wait, what? What? Because what? If, a, if you have a condom that's made from a fish intestine, it's going to stink of fish, right? <laughs> I know, I just thought this was some like sneer against women that men were like, oh, that's amazing. her fanny smells. But actually it's the man wearing the condom and blaming on the woman. Yes, John, that's exactly it. I think so. Solving medical problems. Um, <laughs> Listen, Dr. Imagine? Gray, chill out. <laughs> well, I don't I'm actually, I'm like, can you imagine, but you don't have a penis, but can, I cannot imagine so they say. sliding <laughs> a fish gut onto my member. Like, ew. You've used a condom. Of course I used a condom, but like, anyway, first of all, I wouldn't be wearing a condom because I'm not going to get anyone pregnant. But like, ew, also, 
condoms used to be made of rubber and all condoms were handmade. Because really? there was, yeah, there was something about Wait, like, hold on. there were there were master condom makers. There was something about the process of, <laughs> of of making it via rubber where you had to smooth it out by hand. I'm a master sheath. They had maker. to be smooth, smoothed and trimmed by With hand. The, and was there a finger that they used to <laughs> Just like this. And Actually, that would be I really sad. That would be really sad. No one wants to see a really skinny penis. <laughs> most offensive thing ever. I hate I, it. Baby dick. So I didn't, disgusting. I didn't dive Dog too dick. far into the closet. <laughs> 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 oh, um, oh no, so wait, so wait, so basically, until the invention of latex, which is made in water, apparently, which smooths out all the nobbles and bubbles. Although then, so it was lovely. So no, it was, but it was for weird. They just come full circle, right? They should just fucking stuck with the rubber ones. Oh, interesting. But I imagine they were really, really. Thick. I have an image. It's like wearing a Wellington boot on your. Dick, yeah, pretty basically. much. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine it being like so that. Great. Not good for either partner. Colors. Right, that can't feel good for the woman either. I mean, yeah, because I don't think they had lube then either. Well, Unless she was built like a slip and slide. Hey. Um. So yeah, that's a feral fat condoms. Now you know where condoms. No. Um. But there are apparently there are there, like even but as far you can back still as buy them now. Condoms. Like, <laughs> what? yes, John. No, um, you can still I wouldn't buy know. animals. Mine's animal healed over. Thingies. I've been rehymenized. <laughs> animal. What? Animal intestine condoms, I think. Who does that? I think weird people do. It's do a thing. I'm sure would... it's a fetish. I'm sorry. I've seen. But like, does it have all I've the seen, like. I've seen horseplay and puppet. They've play. got. <laughs> But I they feel like that. when you have, do they, does it have all the like veins of the intestines? So like, you know when you see, you know when you see like try. So I'm gonna, um, and it's got all the like the the oh, so. <laughs> hold it, in, hold it, in, hold it, in, hold it, in, hold it. In, hold it in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's filth. I kind of want you to throw up just a little bit. <laughs> it just projects all into the screen. <laughs> like a family guy. Okay. okay. Ugh, well, I think, awesome. um, and on that note, <laughs> and on that note, we're back to penis, 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 penis sheath. <laughs> I don't like that word sheath. I do. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I find I don't understand why people have such a problem with the word moist. I don't like the word sheath. I like moist, and I like entonces. I like entonces. <laughs> entonces. Do you know what word I love? Allora, allora, allora. Ciao tutti. <laughs> <laughs> allora, we finished. Okay. It's done. All right, perfect. Um, Anywho, I enjoyed this one. Yeah, it was all right. Not was too shabby. Not, not too shabby. shabby. Not, your yeah. teeth look very white. Really? It's yeah. a lie. I got buttery teeth. <laughs> yeah. Rachel, Rachel Parkinson teeth. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, um, I guess I'll see you next week then. At the same time. I will see you next week too. So until next time, remember. <laughs> what <did> you say? <laughs> Stay viral. <laughs> <laughs> Rewind. You said something. What did you say? <laughs> Spit it out. No. You said something like, I'll see you no. next week, cheek. No. What? No, I'll tell you after we Okay, finish. all right, all right. <laughs> oh, I feel like we're on Graham Norton and I always feel really jealous when they're like, I'll tell you backstage. Now I'm that person. All right, so remember, stay, stay viral. viral. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. Oh my God. Bye. Bye. <laughs>